morning bumblebeezies. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. It's 8.30. I thought I saw something. It's 8.30 right now and I am about to make my breakfast and my coffee. And it's so nice outside. It's nice and chilly. But then I looked at the weather for the rest of the week. Why is it going to be 86 on Sunday? It's like 70 today and then 86 on Sunday. It's crazy. Anyways. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to make the same thing that I had yesterday. Sausage and eggs. Tonight we're going to go to Costco. And... I'm not going to be buying that many things. We need to buy Halloween candy for the trick-or-treaters. And last year we totally ran out of candy. I had one big bag from Costco and I thought that would be more than enough and we totally ran out. So I'm going to buy two big bags of candy and maybe some Rice Krispie treats. And I want to have dinner at Costco tonight because our new Costco here has the new menu. So they have the cheeseburgers and the chili. And I don't know what else they have, but I'm excited because I want to try the new menu items. Okay, I'm going to cook my egg. Let me get some sausage. So I have my breakfast, eggs and sausage. And I like to put syrup on my sausage. Do you guys like syrup on your sausage? And of course, you guys know I love ketchup. Cannot eat eggs without ketchup. Well, scrambled eggs. So I put ketchup on my eggs. Actually, I like ketchup on fried eggs too. I just don't put ketchup on hard boiled eggs. Okay, so for today's coffee mug, I feel like I should use a Halloween mug because I've been using the Christmas mugs lately. And Halloween is next week. So let's go for a Halloween mug. So I'm going to use my Nightmare Before Christmas mug. We have Jack and Sally. And then all of these images will appear with the hot liquid. And then it just says Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. So I'm going to use that. Yesterday, or last night, I took two Benadryls, two tablets. And my hand did get a lot better. It's still a little bit swollen, um, but it's a lot better. You can see like my knuckles now, kind of. Like it's still swollen, you guys, but it's a lot better and the itching has gone down. I seriously don't know what bit me. The only thing that I actually see on my hand now that the swelling has gone down is there is a tiny, tiny, tiny little bump right there. It's super tiny. I feel like a spider bit me, but I don't I don't know and I don't I kind of don't want to know <laughs> Oh my gosh, I was trying to google it But I am so afraid of googling bug bites because then they'll show you pictures of bugs and you guys know I do not like bugs I'm like so afraid <laughs> Especially spiders. Ugh, oh my gosh, you guys. I don't want to know. Oh Ariel got a Halloween bucket from his work yesterday. I want to show you guys. It's so cute. I wish he had gotten two, but he said that they were running out, so he only got one. They were giving these away for free yesterday at T-Mobile for T-Mobile Tuesday. Look, it's so freaking cute, and it lights up. I don't know how to... See, it lights up the handle. Isn't that so cute? So the kids can um, use it at night when they're trick-or-treating. So cute. So on Halloween, Ariel, his boss was actually really nice and he said whoever has kids will get off early so they can go trick-or-treating with their kids. So Ariel will go trick-or-treating with the kids and then I will stay home and pass out the candy. So these are the sheets that I bought yesterday at Target. This is my favorite one. I get these ones all the time. This is the Threshold brand. And normally I get the Performance set that one it comes with a fitted and a flat and it's 400 thread count but this time for AJ's bed I just got the fitted sheet because he doesn't use the flat sheets and it's 300 thread count but I really like these sheets because they are deep and they have elastic and they really hold on to your mattress and I wanted to show you guys what the sheets look like and why I really really love them 
Another thing that I wanted to show you guys is when you buy the sheets, they come in these little bags. You can reuse these bags. If you get the sheet set, it's actually wider. And that bag is actually what I use when I travel for my shoes. I put my shoes in these bags so that when I put them in my suitcase, you know, it doesn't touch my clothes and stuff. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. You guys can totally reuse these bags for your shoes when you travel or for anything, I guess. But I think they're the perfect size for shoes. So I'm going to get everything off of the bed and I'll show you guys what the sheets look like. So this is the sheet that AJ is using right now. It's just a regular queen size bed sheet. It's not the kind that I get at Target. It's not the threshold brand. So you can see this is what happens when he wakes up. It's loose. It's coming off on the corners. So I'm going to show you guys why this is so good. Also, this makes it really easy to put on because they have the top and the bottom labeled. So you know that this goes either on the top or the bottom. I have three of the corners put on. I'm about to put the last corner on, but look at how deep these go. And then it has all this elastic to hold on. And then all the way around it has all this extra fabric that you can tuck under. So that's it. OMG, you guys. Look what just came in the mail. I'm so excited. Uh, I have been wanting an air fryer for the longest time and the people over at Kasori sent this to me and I'm so excited. I'm going to be uh, doing like a demo and like a whole review over on my other channel probably next week. So I'll show you guys um, what I make. Probably going to make like chicken or something, but I'm so excited. Also, I think I'm going to have a discount code because they usually send me discount codes or like if there's a sale, they'll let me know. So I will let you guys know if they give me a code or anything like that. So we're getting ready to head out. We're going to Costco. I haven't showed you guys my outfit of the day in a really long time. So I thought I would share my outfit with you guys. I have on my new spirit jersey from Disneyland and underneath I have um, a Halloween t-shirt and I'm wearing my boyfriend uh, pants boyfriend jeans from Old Navy I have them folded like I always do and then I'm wearing my black Birkenstocks and I'm pretty sure my feet are gonna freeze inside Costco but you guys know me I live in Birkenstocks I love them we're riding in the Mitsubishi Outlander oh look at that cool guy in there and we only have two days left with this car it's so nice we're here at the new Costco. We're basically coming to this Costco from now on. I mean, why would we ever go back to the other Costco, right? <laughs> Just walked in and I'm already thinking about getting something that's not on my list. This is $9.49 for four packets on sale. But I think I'm not gonna get it. I'm gonna try to stick to my list. Look at this nice TV, you guys. Oh my gosh, 82 inches, 4K. $3,000, it's so nice. Oh, we need to get candy. Here's all the candy, look. Yeah, but wait, let's check the other options. I think this is the one that we got last time for AJ's birthday party, huh? Oh, no, it's not. This is different. It has Haribo and Nerds. I want the chocolate one. I think it's this one. It might be, oh no, those are the little tiny ones. I think it's this one. Yeah, this one. 150 pieces you get Snickers, M&M's, Reese's, Milky Way, Almond Joy uh, Pe York Peppermint Patties, Kit Kat and 100 grand for $15.99 so you want to get two of these okay they have Apple AirPods here $139.99 AJ's thinking about getting it he's interested what do you think you don't know yet well you have time to think about it oh my god look at that nutcracker I'm gonna show you guys it's amazing Look at this. This is amazing, you guys. $300. Six-foot LED nutcracker with music. Oh, I love it. It's so nice. Oh, well, they have enchilada bake. Ravioli lasagna. AJ's looking for the chicken parm. I don't see it. They do have mac and cheese. I'm tempted. I'm tempted to get this for Thanksgiving. I said I was going to make everything, but then now I see that and I'm like, hmm, I don't know. This looks really good, too. Italian sausage pasta. In garlic wine sauce. Oh my gosh, this sounds really good. 
chicken alfredo. That's a huge chicken pot pie. And then salads. They have everything here. Look at this, you guys. They have Ziploc bags that are themed for the Nutcracker and the Four Realms. I would buy these just because they're cute. They're on sale for $10.69. Look at this, you guys. They already have gingerbread house kits, $9.99. You know what? I want to find one that's already assembled and you, all you have to do is decorate it because assembling it is not that fun. Look at this, you guys. They have baklava assortment. This looks so good. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. $11.99. Look at that dried fruit platter. This is my favorite. I love peppermint bark, especially the Ghirardelli peppermint bark squares. So good. They have the holiday crepes. These are so good. Are we gonna get one? We have to get one. These are so good. We get these every year here at Costco. If you guys have never tried them, you need to try them. They are, they're now $9.59. I think they go up like every year, but these are so good. Oh my G. They have the Starbucks holiday blend. Oh my gosh, you guys. I feel like I have to get it. It's $29.99. So we're having dinner. I got the new cheeseburger because I really wanted to try it. Ooh, look at that. Actually, Vanessa and me and Ariel all got the cheeseburger. Is it good? And AJ got the chicken bake. So my friend Christine here on YouTube, her channel is Twilight Chick 143. She tagged me in her video called I Love Fall Tag. It's a I Love Fall Tag. And I have Vanessa here with me. We're gonna answer the questions together. We wanted to do the tag here for you guys to see. Yeah. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Yeah. What's the first question? What's your favorite fall lip product? Okay, so we have some. I have some and Vanessa has some. Only you wanna one. share? Okay, you share what yours is. Um, it's this one, like this fall nude color. Yeah, it's a pretty nude color. It's called Echo Park. Echo Park. Is that ColourPop? Yeah, it's from ColourPop. Oh, okay. I think the thing, the rubbing. Oh, you rubbed it all. It rubs off yeah, the name. Yeah, it did. Yeah. And I have four favorite lips, lips, <laughs> lip products, not lips. I don't have four lips. Um, okay, but these are basically my go-to. I wear these all the time, like no matter what the season is. But these are especially nice during fall season. And these are all by Kat Von D. They're the liquid lipsticks. So I have Hawkeye, which is really pretty. If you guys have seen me wearing lipstick, it's you've seen these before. Because the only lipstick that I wear is Kat Von D. So that is Hawkeye. And then another one that I really love, actually this one is my favorite, is Bow and Arrow. Yeah, you can swatch that. Bow and Arrow, it's such a pretty nude, it's perfect. That one right there. And then another one that I really like is Plath. This one is darker. This one's really pretty. Here's mine. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. There you go. Yeah. That's really pretty. So here is Plath, that one right there. This one's more of like a brick color, so pretty. And then this last one is really dark, perfect for fall, and it's called Vampira. Vampire. Vampira. Like this one though is so hard to take off and it like stains your lips because it's really red. Well, it's really dark. So, that one right there. Oh, that's Yep, these are my favorites. Well, all of them are my favorites, but like for fall, these are the ones that I like to wear the most. I really want to try her like regular lipsticks because the liquid lipsticks kind of like dry my skin out, but I still really like them. Okay, what's the next question, Vanessa? Um, fav what's your favorite nail, what's your favorite fall nail polish? Okay, I think we have some in here too. Yeah. Where's the other? Can you grab the other one? Okay, so this one was Vanessa's favorite, which is also my favorite. It's this one by Zoya, and it, what is it called? Can you remember? Oh. Um, this one is called Joni. Let's swatch it on your nail. I have polish on my nails, so. Oh, I have. Oh, you have. I wore this polish when I went to Disneyland, and it matched the Lolita lipstick perfectly from Kat Von D. Okay, show it to them. It's so pretty. Look at that. It's 
perfect for fall so 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 pretty and then a new one that i another new one that i got is from essie it's this nice dark blue it's from their new fall collection booties on broadway it's just a nice dark blue and then another one that i really like this one is from sally hansen it's the miracle gel polish and the color is called wine stock so it's a nice like you know deep wine color very pretty and perfect for fall okay what's the next question Favorite fall candle. Okay, we have two favorite fall candles. You want to tell yeah. them that one? This one's called Vampire Blood. And... You can tell them the notes on the bottom. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fragrance notes. Blood Red Strawberry, Midnight Blooming Jasmine, Dark Transylvanian Plum. That one's really good. It smells like, like, cran fruity. like cranberry, I think. And then this one is the Hot Cocoa and Scream. And this one literally smells just like hot chocolate. It smells so, 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 so good. It does. It's pretty strong though, so I don't burn it for that long. But the other one, I could burn like all day and it smells so good. Next question. Favorite fall scarf or accessory? Oh. Mine is this hat. I was thinking it. Your lipstick was in it. This, Her know, beret. Like beret. I'll put it on. It's so cute. Where'd you get that? Forever 21? I don't remember. It's so cute. I think it's from Forever 21, but she's had it for years. And my favorite fall accessory is this purse from Michael Kors. I just love it because I feel like the color is like really good for fall. And it's really pretty. It has a long strap too. Like that. I love it. I really love it. Okay, what's the next question? Haunted house, ha haunted hayride, or haunted corn maze? I would choose haunted hayride. I actually really, really wanted to go to the haunted hayride in LA when I was there, but somebody didn't want to go, so we didn't go. Um, haunted house. Haunted house. She loves haunted houses. Okay, next question. What's the scariest movie you've ever seen? I don't watch a lot of scary movies, so probably like Freddy Krueger, <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, uh, probably The Conjuring. She's brave. Okay, and then the last question. Um, oh no, there's two more. Favorite candy to eat on Halloween? Um, mine, mine is the pumpkin Reese's peanut butter cups. Oh, like the ones that are shaped like pumpkins. Okay. Okay, she doesn't have a favorite. So the last question is, what are you dressing up as for Halloween? I'm not going to get dressed up this year. The devil. She's dressing up as a devil. You just gave it away. Was it a secret? No. Okay. It was, it was a question. <laughs> it wasn't so. a secret. So she's dressing up as a devil. I'm not getting dressed this year. The last time I got dressed up was at Disneyland. What, what, what was I the last time we went there? Um, Piglet? Yeah. Oh, was I Piglet? Yeah. Yeah, it was Piglet. In 2015, we all we went to Disneyland and we went to the Halloween party and we all dressed up as Winnie the Pooh characters. That was fun, huh? All right, so that's the tag video. So I want to tag my friend Roxanne. Her channel is Roxy Maride. And I also want to tag my friend Loie, Life with Loie. And of course, anybody else who wants to do the tag, you should definitely do the tag. Let me know if you guys do the tag. And I'm going to put the questions down below. Okay? Okay. Okay. My hand is almost back to normal. You probably won't even be able to tell. It's still a little bit swollen. I feel like it's a little bit swollen like right here. And you don't see as much as the bones in my hand. Yeah, you can tell it's still a little bit swollen. There's a bug bite like right there and it's really, really tiny. It's so weird to me that this bug bite is so tiny. It's literally like just a little tiny dot. It's like smaller than my mole and it caused my whole hand to swell up. Isn't that nuts? But yeah, I took more Benadryl. I just took two tablets right now, so I'll probably go to sleep soon. It's almost 10 o'clock anyways. Good evening, everyone. It is super late and it's time to go to sleep. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.